When would they be ready, then? OK, I'll call back about four. Thanks, bye. Who was that? No, um, nobody. <laughs> Come on, who was it? Jack, I'm going to see Frank Tate this afternoon. Why? Because if we're going to get this farm shop off the ground, we need an investor. I thought we'd already had this one out. We're not asking Tate for money. Where are we going to get £20,000 from? We'll find it. Where? Under a rock? Jack, the man lives next door. I'm going to see him. He won't entertain you. What have we got to lose? What's for dinner? Huh? Oh, you're on your own. I'm not hungry. <laughs> that is sick. That is really sick. <laughs> well, it could be true. Oh, smoky. What's Smokey? What's You can't write about an old man and his dog like that. Why not? Because the dog can't speak for you. Dog, <laughs> Uh, walk back in. Uh, no, dear, yeah, she's not here at the moment. No, she's in Leeds for a few days. Yes. Yes, Leeds. All right, goodbye. <laughs> I do wish your sister would let her boyfriend know where she is. He doesn't know Rachel's in Leeds. Rachel, Michael and Jayesh, the love triangle, the continuing story. Rachel and Jayesh, breakdown in communications, question mark. Um, Michael steals the lead, uh, steals the lead in race for Rachel's heart, question mark, exclamation mark. Leave him alone. Well, it's news, isn't it? Well, she's had enough bad press in her time. Well, she'll be able to handle this then, won't she? Thanks, Michael. I really appreciate this. Yeah, well. Poor old Sam. How was she when you spoke to her? No, oh, she didn't say much. She just wants to get on with her life. I think I bring back bad memories for her. Well, I hope she'll be happier in Brighton. Yeah. Her dad's coming up this weekend to collect her stuff. She's not coming? No. Cross or evidence. Property statutes. Revenue law, practices and principles. <laughs> no wonder she couldn't pass. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it'll be a minute. Oh, hi. Hi. Wanna come in? Yeah, of course. Oh. I was going to ring you, but I thought I'd uh, pack up Sangeeta's stuff first. She didn't mention anything to me. Oh, she's talking to you now. Yeah. What was that? Who's in Sangeeta's room? Jesh. What's he doing here? Jesh. How dare you touch her things? Jesh. Get out! Calm down! I said calm down! Or tea? No, thanks. Oh, sit down. I must say, I was uh, a bit surprised to get your call. Well, life tends to be full of surprises, in my experience. Yeah, but when you said that the Sagdans were going into diversification, I must say, I was a bit shocked. Well, Jack just wants to farm, but we don't seem to have a choice anymore. We must diversify. Very wise. We're going to open a farm shop. A farm shop? Ah, good idea. Hmm. We think so. I just can't believe that Jack has finally come to his senses. It took some doing. Yeah, I'll bet. Well, it's a great idea. Yeah. I hoped you'd be pleased. Oh, I am. I'm not quite sure what all this has got to do with me. Well, I'll come straight to the point. We need a backer. It sticks in your throat, doesn't it? What does? We come all this way to open a shop and we end up buying our groceries from the opposition. That's because we haven't opened yet, dunk. I wonder how the kids are at school. Oh, they'll be fine. They'll look after themselves. Well, Scott wasn't too happy when he got home yesterday. Scott never looked happy. He was born miserable. Oh, don't! What's this? Oh, it's the uh, latest Beckendale gossip sheet. 
that's a cartoonist Scott here. Yeah, I know. Lab Math London has switched off. Who writes this rubbish? I don't know. Well, don't you care? What's poor Scott going to say when he sees it? Well, poor Scott can't say a lot. The article happens to be true. Oh, I bet there are spies everywhere. I hate this place. No, you don't. I just want to live in a proper house made of bricks. I'm fed up at this campsite. You haven't got to put up with it much longer. Mm. Yeah, well, I could do without this trial by tabloid press stuff. I don't know. At least they all know who we are. <laughs> I think I'll go out for a stroll. Thanks, Michael. You'll be all right? Yeah. That wasn't necessary, you know. It just threw me and... And to see the way... To see Michael pouring all over her things, touching them, her private possessions, I just... I suppose I didn't fully realise until now that Sam's not actually coming back to Leeds. Jayish, Sangeeta asked me to pack her things away. Michael was only helping me. It's hardly an invasion of privacy. No. You were way out of line. I know. I'm sorry. Oh, you don't need to apologise to me. I don't think I can apologise to him. Oh, don't be so childish. Look, everything I've said about him, well, I still believe it. I just can't trust him. Do you trust anybody? Oh, that's a stupid thing but to say. But it's true. Think about it. The minute I start to talk about anybody else, you get suspicious. It's not as bad as that, is it? Almost. Well? Yes, it uh, makes interesting reading. What are you interested? Sorry. I'm not sure if that's the right thing to say. I'm new to the world of business. Nothing wrong in being direct. So you need uh, £20,000 to set up. And we'd like our partner to be a sleeping one, if possible. I'm sure Jack would prefer if I was silent. If I decide to go with the project, of course. Of course. I think you're missing something out. No, I don't think so. Why isn't Jack here? Well, well we couldn't both leave the farm. Jack, Jack's working flat out at the moment. I see. But if you're interested, he wants you to know he'd welcome your input, your investment. Well, like I say, I'm glad he's come to his senses. And I feel honoured that you've come to me for support. Well, it seemed the most sensible thing to do. Would you consider being our sleeping partner? I would. <laughs> well, that's great. But I think we should talk to Jack first. Yes. The sooner the better. I'll suggest it. Good. Then we can have another talk. Thank you. I'd better be off. <laughs> Bring him over next time. I will. I'll see myself out. Give Jack my regards. Okay. I've always thought that Shin was rather underrated. You eat it a lot, do you? No, no, not exactly. But, but these dumplings, now, they're a speciality of mine. Even with just fresh parsley, they're delicious. <coughs> but tonight, I've <coughs> grated some onions, I've finely chopped some mushrooms. Alan. But I would have preferred the wild ones, I think, but... Alan! Hmm? Oh, I'm terribly sorry. <coughs> There. Ah, oh, there you go. Now, you try those dumplings. I think you'll find they're really rather special tonight. Honestly, Alan, at this rate, we're going to be the first drop-in sense to be mentioned in the Good Food Guide. We're still OK, aren't we? What do you mean? Ulls. Yeah. It's just that... Well, you've been avoiding me lately. Alan. It's not what it looks like to me. You have, haven't you? I've been busy, that's all. I keep thinking I'm losing you. I don't want that to happen. Don't say it, it's Jay. It's true. Jay. I need to know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I don't really know anything at the moment. Just give me some space. OK, OK. Do you understand? No. But I'm not going to push it if it's space you need. Does that mean you don't want to see me? Look, 
I just need some time by myself. It's not as if I'm saying goodbye. So we can still go to the cinema, split a pizza occasionally, see how it goes. Yeah, yeah, of course. Good. How about a pizza tonight, then? Yeah. Oh, hi, Michael. We've just about finished. Yeah? Listen, we're going for a pizza tonight. Do you want to come? Oh, do you mind? Of course not. Jay? Fine. Good. Swim. No, I haven't got my cousin with me. So? Ha, ha. What's your problem? As if you don't know. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't care. That cartoon of me in the new sheet? You did it, didn't you? What are you talking about? You must have. Why did you say that? You were the one who asked me to turn down my music. You were the only one who knew about it. Half the holiday village heard your music. Did you think about that? <coughs> rat. Well, leave him alone. It's not worth bothering with. I'll tell you something, though. Two days back at school, and I wish I was back working now. <laughs> You're free to leave school when you want. Oh, well, thanks for the support, Matt. <laughs> I told you to ignore him. Hey, enough of that. He's pinching his meat. Oh, it's all the bill. He's got trouble with his teeth. What's the matter with him? He's lost them, but he's too proud to do anything about it. Well, that's still no reason for the other chap to pinch his meat. Here, let, 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 let me do it for you. There we are. That's special, isn't it? And you eat yours. You're just a bit softy, you know. Greediness. Bully. Pint of bitter and two cokes, please. Yes, Ma. Raining outside, is it? No, what makes you think that? Oh, never mind. Have you all seen this? Afraid so. Good, isn't it? What does you mean to say about it? This wouldn't be Scott by any chance. Yeah. You know, he should be locked up. What's up with her? She went for an unexpected swim. I didn't realise that Debbie was into the wet look. You should ask Scott about it. That would be two fifty-two, please, love. Have you seen Lady's rag? Me? Oh, no. I'm not interested. Cheers. Hey. I reckon it was them. Then what? Would you seen that newspaper? It's got to be. Those cartoons just must be Lorraine's handiwork. She's denying it, of course. Oh, wait till I sort them out. Oh, I thought you didn't care what they said about you. Once is funny, twice isn't. Oh, calm down, Vic. It's only a village newspaper. It's so immature. Anyway, there's no point in talking to them about it. They'll only deny it. Yeah, we can't prove a thing. Do you think they did it? Well, yeah. Yeah, I do. All right, that's all I need to know. Hello? It's uh, Sarah Connolly again. I'm ringing about... Really? <laughs> well, I don't know why I'm so surprised. I sort of knew all along. Thanks. Bye. Looking at us. 
don't be so sensitive. Well, it's all right for you. You're away in Skipdale all day. Yeah, and you weren't the one that got soaked. <laughs> I told you to ignore him. You can be so smug sometimes, you know that. That's college, Lorraine. Oh, it's fine, Seth. Much better than school. They treat you like adults. Enjoying your art classes, are you, then? Yes, thanks, Nick. Mm. Polishing up on your cartoon drawing, are you? It's mostly still life at the moment. I'll bet. Carol, can't you have a word with Lorraine and tell her that that gossip she is causing ill feeling? Believe me, Nick, I've tried. I'm the last person she listened to. Maybe we should give them a taste of their own medicine. How do you mean? I don't know, but I'm, I'm thinking about it. Oh, I don't think I like the sound of this. You know what sort of trouble you get into when you start thinking about things? So no one ridicules my family and gets away with it. Sorry, you're disappointed. Isn't I? She's working late. Oh, well. She asked me to apologise. Can I get you a drink? Uh, no, thanks, no. Well, would you like me to leave a message? No, it's OK. I'll see you some other time. Oh, fine. Um, look, uh, about, uh... Oh, the drink drive. Just leave it to me. You can use my solicitor. Don't worry about the cost. I'll pay for it. Right, thanks. Do you want to wait here for it? I was just wondering how she got on. Sorry? In Leeds at the weekend. Oh, Leeds, yeah. Um, the disco. Gay club. Yeah, right. Um, well, I don't know. I haven't had a chance to talk to her about it yet. Why not? Well, we've both been rather busy and, um... Can I get you a tea? Well, if you're gonna beat about the bush, you might as well. Do you know what Sam's going to do now, then? No. Right, are you ready? Yeah. Listen, I've been thinking we're always going for pizza. Why don't we go somewhere else? Where? Marco's. It's a bit expensive, isn't it? So? OK. Uh, listen, you two get off. I've got to get back to Beckendale anyway. No, no, you're coming. No, I can't. Look, this one's on me. You've been helping me all day. It's the least I can do. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, thanks. Thanks a lot, Rachel. Come on. We've never had this sort of thing in the family before. I'm not used to it. My daughter, a lesbian. Yeah, but she's still Zoe. Being gay is only a part of her. I mean, she's still the same person. Yeah, I know all this, but it doesn't make it any easier, though, does it? It's all right for you, Frank. She'll always be your daughter. She'll never be my wife. What are you all looking at? Nothing. <sighs> Maybe we should give it a rest for a while. What? Mm. Just when it's getting interesting. No way. Want another drink, love? Big. What's that? Oh, nothing. Just working on a little plan, that's all, sweetheart. What sort of plan? A revenge attack. Attack? Oh, you know what I mean. No, I don't. But as long as it doesn't involve violence, firearms or maiming, I'm all for it. Me too. Well, you'll have to wait. It's only the germ of an idea. Ah. Right, I'll have another pint of bitter, please. Preferably without the ice cream on the top. We don't serve ice cream in here. Well, you could have fooled me. What are you doing here? Oh, we want to be where the action is. Don't be so silly. It's being sarcastic, Mum. You should only be allowed out on a leash. Scott made that girl fall in the pool. Did you? Yeah, with all her clothes on. Oh, <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> hey, you all right? I'm fine. I'm fine, Archie. Just help yourself. OK. No, I, I can't help thinking that maybe it's something I've, I've done or not done that's made Zoe what she is. Yeah, maybe if I was a better parent, bought her a pony or a, I made her go to ballet classes. I don't think so. So you don't think it's something I've done? And what difference does it make? Zoe is what she is. That's what's important. That's what people have got to understand. Yeah, but I still Look, does feel... Does Zoe in any way blame or resent you for the way that she is? There's your answer, then. She obviously doesn't think it's something to do with you at all. Yeah. I wonder if the same could be said for Christopher and Kim. I don't know. Do they resent me? 
believe me. Oh, sorry, Frank. I really have. Better get going. Where have you been? Just went for a walk, that's all. Can I have chips? Not now. Tea will be in 15 minutes. Well? What? Was it something Frank said? Sent you off? No, that was fine. He turned you down, didn't he? No. He was very interested and said he might help. But... Go on. He wants to talk to us both. <laughs> that is hardly the attitude to take with our only potential backer. Well, go on, then. What did he say? He's planning on opening a country club with Lynn. A country club? Oh, la -de da I've never heard of anything so ridiculous. Well, he seems to think it'll take off. Never. Not round here. Well, you never know. Life's full of surprises. Hello, Mr. Good night. Thank you. Good night, all. See you tomorrow. God bless. So, easy on the herbs, eh? <laughs> I think I can forgive you for one evening. <laughs> Good. Um, Shirley. Yeah? I, I wanted to apologise for involving you in that silly little scandal sheet business. And I, I have been meaning to tell you how much I admired the way you dealt with it. What? Well, your, your kiss was a very good idea. It certainly shut the gossipers up. But if you don't want to come to the Woolpack again, I shall quite understand. Oh, for heaven's sake, Alan, will you stop worrying about what you think I think? Do what you want to do. Say what you want to say. Start enjoying yourself. Start having a bit of fun. And don't worry about me. I'll tell you if I'm not enjoying myself. You do want to go out with me again, don't you? Good. And you think that kiss was just a... a crowd pleaser? Well, I... I thought maybe... What planet have you been living on, eh? Come here, and I'll show you what that kiss was for. What was that for? Nothing. Oh, I get it. You think you can get round me that way? Butter me up, eh? Look, I really don't want Frank Tate's money. It's got nothing to do with Frank. Oh? It's me. I've noticed some changes. Just little things. At my age, it, it could be almost anything, so... I ignored it at first, but... What? But today I had it confirmed. Oh, is it serious? Sort of. I'm pregnant. <laughs>